Yes, recording is on. That will be shared to you. Okay. Now we'll be resuming our session. It is visible to you. Is screen is visible to you or not? See. Visible. visible. Okay. 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 Let us uh, start. See. Most of your interview will be focused uh, as on your key aspects, okay? And as per knowledge, uh, what you are working with, what is your profile, some key differences you should note uh, that what other candidates won't be available, to, will be there to take, okay? Nobody will be there to tell you, we'll have to manage on your own. See. Your work profile. Work profile, some of you, if you are working in credit, that will be good. Last year, uh, uh, someone, I, I can't remember the name of that girl who was working in clearing, but uh, I already said that if you are not working in credit department, tell them somehow that you have a touch of credit. Because credit is the backbone. They are not taking you as a clerk that you will be passing the vouchers. You won't be passing the scrolls, okay? So anyhow, don't do su such foolish things that, sir, I, I don't know, I will try, I will this. No, they will reject you. Outrightly, they will. Okay? See. Now, we will be starting our, what is the major core portion of this? See, can anyone tell what is the first step in a loan <laughs> processing? What is the first step in the loan processing? Due to diligence. Check, to check the credibility yes. of the very uh, customer. Very good, very good, very good. Due diligence. Due diligence is the very first key thing because if there is no proper due diligence, what will be the impact? Abhishek, Abhishek Sisodia, are you there? Yes, sir. What will be impact if there is no proper due diligence? So if there is no proper due diligence and uh, the loan will turn default, it will be yeah. defaulted and uh, tough accountability will be there. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, do not answer this uh, staff accountability things in interview. Okay, you are telling me that is okay, but never use the word staff accountability. Okay. okay. The customer ke fraud on a pure pure chances like yes. whether us yes, customer yes, yes. loan there actually a banda hai or nahi. Sir, and PO Sakta. Jobi loan the other of Kamo, put in PO Jai. NPO ho Sakta, okay. But there are also accounts which are having good due diligence still NPA. Yes, sir. You cannot say that because of due diligence failure. There may be that due diligence means you can take a loan in your own name or in your wife's name or in some other's name, but you are running the loan. This is the failure of due diligence. Okay. It doesn't mean that it will be NPA, but the loan as per AML, anti-money laundering, KYC policy, this, this will be declared as a fraud. Okay. Then what will be the answer? Yes, the very first step is the due diligence. See, suppose suppose you are a branch manager. You are a branch manager of a branch. A very good customer comes for home loan. Okay, but he is not having income tax return. This is a, this question was asked in the interview. Okay, 
would you sanction it or not? No, sir. If customer has a salary holder, then I'll. Suppose, suppose I am taking, I am your interviewer. Suppose in the mock interview, I am asking that a person comes to you, he is not having ITR, whether you will sanction this or not. No, sir. No, sir. It is only been uh, given to a person having a, a salary or. If business holder, then, then ITR will be compulsory. If a salary holder, I will see him in salary slip on bank statement. No, you you answer me like you are answering in interview. Simply. No, sir. I, no, sir. I will not give in the loan. Okay. Okay. Piyush, Piyush, are you there? Piyush Prasoon. Sasi. Yes, sir. Are you there? Sasi, you yes, answer me whether you will answer or uh, you will give this loan to that person having ITR or not. Sir, actually, ITR loan is given to the person, but uh, only ITR is not uh, required because we are also giving home loan on the basis of the banking of the customers. ITR. Now, okay. There is a clear loan straight for yes or no answer. There is never uh, you people that that's why where you pay you get less marks in interview. Never give any very straightforward answer, okay? Because you know ITR is required or not, it is your bank's policy. Sir, uh, agar ye banking is our relationship or अच्छा रिलेशनशिप है प्री अप्रूव्ड बैंकिंग को ऑफर कर रहा है डिपेंड ऑन इनके बैंकिंग ट्रांजैक्शन तो वहां पे मैं दे सकता हूं बट प्री अप्रूव्ड ऑफर नहीं है तो मैं नहीं दे सकता हूं सर इफ ही हैज अ प्रूफ ऑफ रेगुलर एंड स्टडी इनकम देन वी कैन गिव वेदर इट इज आईटीआर और एनीथिंग एल्स यस 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 यू विल बी आंसरिंग इन द लिसन केयरफुली व्हाट आई एम आंसरिंग यू विल बी आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन इन द इंटरव्यू लाइक दिस यस टेल Sir, we can give loan to a person uh, if a person does not have ITR. Then also we can give, provided if there is a policy of deviation. Then in case of deviation, we can give loan to that person. Yes, 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 yes. Then the way you will be answering yes, yes that is simpler. As per credit Never policy, so if there is a that... provision of deviation, then we can provide loan to that person. Yes. During interview, do never say any yes or no. Okay. Never say. It will close your answer there and another, there will be a bombarding of questions to you. There will be a cross questions to you. Answers everything so that there is chances of cross questioning is low. You will start. Yes, sir. Actually, the ITR is meant for the purpose of income proof. And its requirement of ITR is generally a, a class in every bank's loan policy business policy it will depend on the business policy and lending policy of the bank whether the bank requires the itr or don't require the itr if the bank don't requires itr they we will we are bound by this specifically then we will be doing this further as a income proof we need to make document perfect in this case we need to take any of such income proof which proves that the person is having regular and steady income and the person is able to pay. The ITR means that it provides the ability to pay. That is the basic thing. We will go by the policy of our bank in which we are working. Then we will do. We cannot say straightforward that yes or no, but preferably ITR is always preferred just because as a proof of income. Okay. Everyone listening, it will sound good. You will say, no, sir, I won't give. Yes, sir, I will give. No. You just go, you say that this is the policy of bank. If bank says that there is no proof of ITR is required, any income proof, whether the 
magistrate or local tahsildar or local other persons will uh, official will verify that income proof which is uh, known as uh, locally as income proof they on taluka level they uh, issue it we will go by this okay that is the basic thing you have to now we will start our cre credit portion what is the loan policy and what do you mean by loan policy it is a written document which is formulated by the board of director of the bank management of our bank yes actually loan policy means the lending policy you can say lending policy of your bank it may vary from one bank to another bank. We will have to follow the bank in which we are working. Documentation. Documentation is a part which ensures your enforceability of documents. Means the way in which document everything, that will be the part of documentation. This is also... Uh, illustrated in loan policy of the bank okay what documents you need to take what documents you don't need to take that is the thing now can anyone tell for a business loan what is required For business loan, uh, uh, yeah. business, uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, uh, sir, hello, sir. Yes, uh, for sir, business loan, uh, yeah, sir, for business loan, uh, any uh, any business uh, uh, group, business vintage, uh, uh, income like ITR and uh, suppose a person is coming to you for doing a business of uh, uh, RM poultry. Yes, uh, the year is a Mr. Person A. He is coming to you for a loan of poultry of 25 lakhs. You will ask ITR from Mr. A. No, sir. Uh, it will, uh, it, it will not Suppose Mr. A, Mr. A want to open a shop. Like this is also a business loan. Will you ask ITR from Mr. A? Will you ask? No, sir. No, then, then we will verify the business. Uh, at the business places, what is the actual yes. business going on? What is the activity and cross check from other references? How many years they are doing the business involved in the same business? What is the cost of production, total sales, and seeing other uh, small shop, small shop uh, um, purchase, uh, uh, purchase bill and selling registers, other thing we will verify. See. Okay, I will be telling how you will be financing all such and doing the documentation part. Okay, you clearly listen and clearly watch over the screen because I find that in a very deficiency is there. You people know very less about the credit, how you will be answering in the during the interview. Okay, I am not making you less confident, but see, I am saying yes, that sir. when you are saying that, you say just illustrative. Okay, financing or lending process. Suppose there is a project. Okay, first part, as you know, that is the due diligence, but it due diligence starts from the beginning of the loan and it continues till our business relationship. Okay. 
Active diligence doesn't mean simply KYC and knowing the person. It means the fund we have financed is being used or not, whether it is being used properly or not. Okay. This is the part of due diligence. Suppose there is a project and you are going to finance it. The very first case will be where C. You want to sanction a loan of 25 lakhs. Suppose. Okay. Say 25 crores. Not the 25 lakhs. Either you will go to the person A or the person A will come to you. This is the case. Okay. Here your due diligence starts. After that, you will, there will be a thing that is the file. Filing means the part of documentation. What documentation? Means beginning of the KYC procedure. Like PAN card, Aadhaar card etc. Then comes if it is a project then it comes a CMA data. Anyone knows about CMA data? CMA data. Anyone knows CMA data? No sir. Okay. This is called as the credit monitoring arrangement data. Chartered accounts give it for big projects. Suppose during the interview asked about how much amount CMA data is required. Then what will be your answer? What will be your answer? Okay, you will answer, sir. It depends on the loan policy of the bank where it has mandated with this. In most of the banks, loans about 10 lakhs must be done through getting a CMA data. Okay. But it is not mandatory for the government loans. See, CMA data is there. Then there comes a project report. Okay. You, you note it. All of you, please note it what I am telling to you. I will be start beginning with this. Okay. So that you can tell nicely how you will be financing a loan. Very first part is the due diligence. Second part, documentation. This is also known as beginning of visit report. Okay, visit report is also included into this. Is it, it is also called a pre-sanction inspection. These are the terms. You may use all the terms in the interview because every bank uses this same term. They will get it. Now, the part comes the documentation. Third, Documentation, you know, the data, the uh, PAN card, Aadhaar card, business proof, registration. If there is a company, then articles and memorandum of associations, director details. If it is a partnership firm, then partner details, business of the firm. Okay, our banking relationship with, with the firm, these are required. These are the part of the documentation. Now, there comes the CMA data. 
what CMA data? CMA data actually gives all information ratio is a drive out. What is the ratio? What, what is the earning? What is, will be the operating uh, pro, operating uh, revenue? These things are included in the CMA data. It actually, it is uh, exhaustive form of actually kind of financials, generally projected financials. Who gives CMA data? Chartered accountant give CMA data. Okay. Now it comes the project report. Project report. It come. It uh, it includes all business engagements of entity. जो भी कंपनी है उसके जितने भी बिजनेस एंगेजमेंट्स हो जो भी काम करती है वो सब प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट में होता है वेदर प्रोजेक्ट इज वायबल या कोई भी काम करेगी तो वेदर प्रोजेक्ट इज वायबल आर नॉट व्हाट आर द रिस्क व्हाट आर द बेनिफिट्स कॉस्ट बेनिफिट एनालिसिस इज आल्सो देयर ओके यू कैन इंक्लूड इनटू दिस वेदर द मोस्ट थिंग टेक्निकल वायबिलिटी इकोनॉमिक वायबिलिटी where it is economically viable. Project may seem very good, but it may not be economically viable. Okay. Next comes. Can anyone tell what can be the next one? The next one comes the what will be the security. What will be security? I am asking a, a question which was asked in the interview last year. In SBI, CBO and GBO both. Security is of two types. Primary security and collateral security. Can anyone tell the difference between primary security and collateral security? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, primary security, like uh, in uh, crop loan, primary security, like uh, hypothesis of crops and new uh, book of debt is primary security. Collateral, like secondary, it is a secondary security. Any uh, collateral, like you building, residential, commercials. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. First part, yes, you, you were. Primary means. Sir, in collateral, the possession of the property will be with the bank. Primary security हो गया sir, इसे मैं cash मतलब recover जल्दी कर सकता हूँ. First piece sir. नहीं नहीं बच्चों आप लोगों ने कुछ भी पढ़ाई credit की नहीं करी है क्या? ये basic चीजें हैं. This is the very basic thing. Okay, I will be telling you. Suppose when you take the loan. Sir. Yes. Yes, yes, tell. Uh, sir, primary securities may cash I know the bank may deposit I primary securities cash for it may cash is stock. Okay, I will be telling, I will be explaining, you will get it. Any type of thing which is created out of banks money, banks funds is the primary security. Okay, right. Anything which was not created with the bank's money but bank taken as a security, this will be the collateral security. Now, tell a shopkeeper is there, there is a shop, he has taken 10 lakhs rupees from you for cold drinks and etc. He put the cold purchase the cold drinks. But you have mortgaged its shop also, and you have financed this stock. Then which one is primary security? Stock. Uh, cold drinks, stocks, cold yes, drinks. Yes, yes, yes. yes sir, and which one is collateral? Which one is collateral? Shop will be the primary and shop will be the collateral. Shop. Which one is the collateral security? Sir, shop. Top one. Top. Yes, yes. Now shop. clear? Yes, sir. 
जैसे हाँ सी सी इसमें सी में ड्रॉप जो होता है वो प्राइमरी सिक्योरिटी यस 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 और कोलेट्रल उसका रैक रिपीट शुड आई रिपीट इट यस सर ओके ओके बैंक आपको जो पैसे देता है उससे अगर आप कोई सामान खरीदते हैं अपना बिजनेस चलाने के लिए तो दैट इज कॉल्ड प्राइमरी सिक्योरिटी ओके एडिशनली टू सिक्योर द फंड्स बैंक में टेक सम एडिशनल सिक्योरिटी बट दैट वाज नॉट यूज्ड विद द बैंक मनी ओके फाइनेंस्ड मनी दैट इज द कोलेट्रल सिक्योरिटी लाइक इन ए शॉप सपोज यू आर रनिंग ए शॉप ओके यू आर रनिंग ए शॉप दिस इज योर शॉप द वैल्यू ऑफ दिस शॉप इज फाइव क्रोर्स यू हैव टेकन लोन ऑफ टू क्रोर्स फॉर पाइप एंड एसेट्रॉल स्टील आइटम्स यू आर सेलिंग बैंक हैव गिवेन यू टू क्रोर्स लोन बट बैंक मोर्टगेज योर प्रॉपर्टी ऑल्सो ओके नाउ these two crore asset what you have purchased is also of bank okay because it the bank's fund is used in these assets whatever you have purchased with the bank's money it is all called the primary security now whatever you are purchasing with these two crores that will be security as a primary security or you can say first security okay for the bank whatever stock you are purchasing everything but this house bank didn't finance your this shop okay this is yours own shop but bank taken it as a security also and mortgaged it this is called the secondary security because in this shop that is this building is not financed by bank's money okay but still mortgaged to the bank this is called the secondary security means collateral security now clear yes sir yes sir okay uh, now now you people answer me one thing suppose here is mr a here is mr a's house okay mr a and mr a's house mr a has taken a housing loan for this house making this house and mr a has a shop also i has taken 2 lakhs loan 2 lakhs personal loan from bank and purchased some items to sell suppose uh, Pepsi, Sprite, okay, snacks, etc. In this shop, but he has taken personal loan. Okay. Now, this is a primary security or not? Yes, sir. No, because the bank didn't finance with the purpose of purchasing stock. Bank, right, bank is a bank is a. 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 after repayment he he repaid this housing loan after loan is repaid he has taken a 2 lakhs loan under mudra okay hmm. and purchase these items this will be a primary security or not not sir why sir. Sir, no no sir agar usne liya hai to sir नहीं सर हाँ मुद्रा लोन में लिया है सर अगर परचेज करने के लिए तो रहेगा सर 
यस यस वेरी गुड परपज परपज यू जस्ट फोकस ऑन परपज बैंक ने किसकी दिस इज ड्यू डेलीजेंस ड्यू डेलीजेंस मैंने क्या बोला कि हमेशा चलता रहता है उसने पैसे किस काम के लिए और किस लिए खर्च किए राइट ओके नाउ क्लियर यस सर हाँ ओके नाउ टेल now uh, the next part comes the valuation and legal report of security okay yes sir then in the valuation there are two parts market value okay market value and you can say our fair value uh, and another one you can say a value is there distress sale value okay this is not important important is this that what is the procedure of valuation what is the validity of valuation validity of valuation as per rbi guidelines validity is 3 years okay yes. any valuation is valid for 3 years Okay, whenever you see uh, inspection in the branch, you see that the auditor always checks whether the property we you mortgage is whether it is valid for three years or by, uh, yes yes and legal during the legal this is the part of your final lawyer okay right right so LSR reporting yes now. There is a term TEV techno economic viability, but this is applicable if the loan amount is twenty five crores and above. above, not more than that. Okay. Yes, sir. Then comes important parts: civil, credit, what loan. search report roc registrar of companies search okay and credit rating this is for project loans but if you are giving a small value loans then you at the very beginning you get the civil report okay right. what is the maximum what is the minimum civil score where you can finance इंटरव्यू डू नॉट से यस आर नो वॉट हाउ द वे आई टोल्ड यू यू एंसर इन द सेम मैनर डू नॉटिंग ओके एनी वन मोर री स्कूल यस हैव यू इटेन फूड नो आई डोंट लाइक in this way what, what will be the impact what will be the problem in the interview you know if you answer in a very short way you face a number of questions number of questions further the final says that you have some bookish knowledge okay and the most deep, most problematic part is that 
the panel rejects you why because they are not taking pos during po interview you can say anything 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 they won't ask you because they know you don't know banking but when you are going in GBO or CBO interview, you, they know that you are experienced banker. You are not very new. You just know. You see that it depends on policy. It is possible that SBI is giving a loan on civil score 600 and my bank is giving civil score 750 plus. Can you say that well, some bank will be giving 700, even some online giving 650? Some cooperative banks will lend you on 600 civil score. So your answer will be, you will be answering that, sir, basically the civil score, uh, the ratings, the in other things related to uh, financing is decided by, generally differs from one to bank, or another bank, and it specifically depends on their policies. In our bank, the mandatory civil score is 700. This is answer is good. But if you say that uh, what is the minimum civil score, then you will say 500, 600, 900. No. Even it may be that uh, sounds good that you may be answering the right thing, but it will kill you. Do not be very straightforward in the interview. Tell them that what they are asking, you have more than sufficient knowledge in this. If they are asking civil, then the best answer will be, yes, sir, civil is really a very much reflection of person's paying capacity, earlier payment history, and also proves its income also that if he is paying successfully, his civil score will be high and he will be a very good borrower. Civil is a very good thing and usually uh, working in the branch, I first prefer to see the civil scores because if repayment history is good, it simply means in a very straightforward way, we are going to get a very good customer which have a very good payment history. And as far as it is concerned with the civil score of the person, it is depends on the banks to banks uh, what are their policies for lending. In our bank, the uh, minimum civil score required for the loan is 700. That will be the best answer. Okay. Do you feel while what I am telling to you, it sounds good to you or whatever you are answering that yes, 700, 900, it sounds good. Okay. Then answer in this way only. Now, See, that is the part of whatever you are generally with the term loans. Okay. Term loans. And sometimes CC and sometimes you can say OD. What is difference between all these term loans, CC and OD? Sir, OD is short term loan. CC जो है mostly long term business के लिए दिया जाता है stock के ऊपर दिया जाता है yes so basically CC and OD both are uniform limit uh, those are set for twelve months and term loan is basically a EMI based loan uh, which is uh, basically set for a period ten year of time like five years or seven years and the major difference between CC and OD uh, CC is given uh, on basis of stock uh, the stock statement and uh, OD is basically set by uniform limit for 12 months. Yes, yes, yes. Very good. Very good. Who is there? Your name? Tuhin Chatterjee. Yes, very, very, doing very good. Okay. Let me tell you something. Something more. If it is concerned with the company, with the term loans, term loans usually financed for the machineries, etc. And for individuals, you can say that uh, retail customers, it is related to housing or sometimes personal. These are the cash credit loans uh, generally for the business only and there is nothing like personal, even some some banks are offering 
cash credit in many ways, but specifically it is meant for this. OD is a type of CC, but it is not actually CC. It is a limit is fixed. Suppose uh, uh, it is a very temporary overdraw. Okay. Cash credit is a running account facility, but OT is not a, a, like a running account facility. It is a temporary overdraft. Means suppose I have given an OD of 50,000. You have a balance in account 25,000. If check of 75,000 comes, we will pause it. Suppose I have given a CC limit of 5 lakhs and the balance outstanding is 25 lakhs, uh, 25,000. Suppose a check after 75,000 comes, we won't pass it because limit is utilized. Even the same in the case of UT, once the limit is utilized, until it is refreshed or allowed separately with the policies as per policies, we won't do it. Now, next question comes, what will you see? What the best thing you will see in financing a cash credit limit? How will you give a cash credit limit? Or tell there is a company A. How you will finance a 2 crore loan to company? A. Tell. So the first thing we need to check the turnover method uh, along with the stock statement that our customer provided for this loan uh, requirement of loan. So yes. CC is basically as you said that uh, it is depend upon the stock statement. Uh, yeah. Uh, however, the bank may be fund uh, like uh, two crore of loan, but if customer stock statement does not uh, comply with this uh, um, the, the amount of the figure so it, it may it may be less down from the two crore so and uh, uh, yes, i mean that is the question how you will sanction two crore limit to a company okay yes you you are telling the good things very right things but tell me uh, uh, there is a company a okay the owner of this company came to you that he wants to crore of limit. How will you assess that limit? Now assessment part. Assess the limit. That is called as a, you will see, sir, it is called as a working capital requirement. And we can say that it is a working capital finance. There is a various method of working capital finance. It depends on the how, which type of industry is this. Okay. We will go through the what, what are the stocks. What are the turnover? What are the financials, as you said? Okay. What are the finance? What does its CMA data reflects? Okay. Now, the question comes, what ratios you will see? What should be the current ratio of this company? What should be minimum current ratio? Should be 1. 1.33 is to 1. Suppose this company has a current ratio of 4 is to 1. It is good or bad? Sir, it is good. 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 Sir,
मैं मारू अभी मैं स्टार्ट करूं अपना लिख लो शांति से बहुत नाटक होते हैं उस छोटे से बच्चे को सब कुछ आता है तुमको नहीं आता है लिखो सही ढंग से नहीं तो मैं बता रहा हूँ फिर आज बंदी करता हूँ तुमको खड़े होकर देखो ना क्या पे कहाँ पे क्या आता है ये नाटक है इसके रोके रो ना नहीं जल्दी लिख अब मुझे गुस्सा मत दिला ना आप प्लीज म्यूट कर दीजिए ना यस ऑडिबल यस सर ना ऑडिबल ओके 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 सी यू विल नेवर आंसर डायरेक्टली इट इज गुड आर बैड बिकॉज करेंट असेट्स आर द रेशियो जनरली रिफर द रेशियो करेंट असेट डिवाइडेड बाय द करेंट लायबिलिटी यस सर इफ इट इज इंक्रीजिंग मींस सम टाइम any how the company has increased its production but it is not utilizing its resources means sales may be down oh. suppose a company is selling four boxes per month okay see and cash is 2 rupees current liability is 1 then 2 Plus four. Suppose one equivalent value is four rupees. Then two plus four is equal to will be one. That will be the six by six by one. One. T. Now, suppose it has increased its production and now it is producing eight. Then two plus eight divided by one. Then ratio will be ten is to one. But C. The sales didn't increase. Okay. Then it is also current assets. Having current assets is good, but we will see the whether the current assets are in the form of cash or in the form of inventory. Suppose if inventory is increased and the by the same time sales is not increased, it means inventory is piling up. Current ratio, what we are looking, may not be useful for our assessment. In the same way, current asset, if it is too low, means company is unable to face its liability. Yes. Now, can anyone tell what is the current asset and what do you mean by current liability? इट इज इट गारंटीड इट यू विल सेल इट इन वन ईयर 
no sir, no, sir. not granted but if uh, we consider inventory yes. ki wo yeah. ek year ke andar hum sell yeah. kar de isliye usko current yes, asset yes. consider kiya jata hai matlab inventory hum log term ke liye use kiya jata hai listen ha listen listen i will be telling you how you will identify the current asset and how you will uh, whatever you have learned till now you just keep aside okay yes. see any asset whose next form is cash matlab abhi jo cheez hai agar uska agla form jo hai cash hai then it is a current asset okay now see raw material it is current asset or not yes sir current asset no no sir Ra Finish raw material next next form raw material ke baad kya hoga production manufacture processing 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 so then next form is cash or not no sir. not No, no sir then it is not current okay now you take finished goods correct finished are 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 what will be the next form sell sir good cash sir yes cash. you will receive money either you will receive a check or a something like you will be giving credit but after that there is no form ultimate form is the cash yeah. okay means liquid sir, that is the current one asset. year ka okay. criteria nahi hota iske एक्चुअली क्या एक्चुअली ये इसलिए होता है क्योंकि करेंट असेट्स आर जनरली लेट मी एक्सप्लेन इन डीप सी वाई इट इज वन ईयर ओके असेट्स एंड लाइबिलिटीज इन अकाउंटिंग शॉर्ट टर्म मींस वन ईयर ओके Current assets are those assets which will change their form ultimately into cash within one year. This is the difference. Now, because the liability is of short term, means cash credit. How you will create the assets? Cash credit. You will purchase the good within one year. You will have to renew it. every cash credit this liability is of short term that's why the assets are short term are for one year okay yes now clear because this is created out of short term liability that is one year short term liability means any liability which has to be knocked off within one year now can current asset will be created with the long term liability yes sir land and building is a current asset it can be uh, no 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 no, no land and building are not current assets Land and keep in the farm. Generally, these are fixed assets. Generally, these are used for long term. And this is also possible that building doesn't liquidate easily. Building, आज बेचना चाहोगे पांच करोड़ का कोई खरीद लेगा immediately? Vijay Mallya का कोई खरीदा क्या बगला? No sir. Okay. Then see. there this is the accounting procedures this is the definition that if definition is saying that short term liability means liability within one year you shouldn't ask that why it is one year because it is defined as a one year because short term liabilities create short term assets like current assets ultimate form of current assets will be the cash this cash will be used to discharge this short term liability now
वॉट इज द डेस्क सर्विस कवरेज रेशियो कितना क्रेडिट बढ़ती है अपनी लाइबिलिटी को क्लियर कर दो ओके डेट सर्विस कवरेज रेशियो मींस हाउ मच आई कैन पे फॉर लोन सपोज माय इनकम इज फिफ्टी रुपीज and my loan is 10 rupees monthly it is also monthly then my debt service is debt service coverage is 50 by means 5 5 means i am able to service the debt five times more than i am servicing means it is good or bad good it is good why because debt service coverage ratio is high means person is having or any company is having more income more operating income okay then only it will be able to service the debt what is the minimum ratio of debt service coverage ratio one Debt service coverage ratio actually minimum one point seven one point seven five is is comfortable. But if it is high, then it is good. Okay. Now, the most asked question: What is debt equity ratio? Debt equity means suppose there is a shop. I have taken twenty lakhs loan, and I have also put my thirty lakhs money into this. Okay, then debt is twenty lakhs, and my money is. Thirty lakhs. Then this is called the debt by equity. Then the ratio will come by this. The amount of debt, equity means equity means whatever I am sharing in my business, my ownership in the business, my value in the business in terms of rupees. Okay. See. Can you tell that whether debt equity ratio if high it is a good or bad? Debt equity means total of liabilities divided by equity. Equity means whatever I am putting into my business. If it is high, then it is good or bad. See, this is just a simple fraction. Suppose uh, the it is liability divided by equity. If it will be the high, then. Numerator will be high means liabilities means loans will be high then it will be the bad okay okay yes. then this is the debt equity ratio I have already shared this uh, balance sheet analysis PDF in the group. Okay, in the Telegram group, there is a go to file section. There is a balance sheet analysis.
okay there is mpbf method cash budget method okay for interview do not go through study and checking that what is the banking regulation act what is the section of check etc it won't be asked don't study it never will be asked even if it is asked you don't tell nothing will happen okay but how the processing is going on then it it may hamper you it may hamper your success anything you want to ask in this because tomorrow sir. i will be taking the interviews therefore i need to take a sleep because tomorrow sir. will be busy ankit sir if you want to yes ankit sir sir ji sir kitna puchna tha ki jis jaise jo profile mein hum kaam karte hain abhi jaise hamari branch agriculture pro ne branch hai ha wahan par retail ka kuch nahi hai तो मतलब हाँ. कितना डीपली अगर हमसे रिटेल के बारे में कुछ पूछते तो फिर या तो हम सीधा मना कर दे या फिर उसके बारे में पढ़ना स्टार्ट करें यू डोंट यू डोंट वरी व्हाट एवर विल बी आस्क्ड इन फ्रॉम द लोन्स फ्रॉम द रिटेल आई विल बी आस्किंग सेल्फ सेम क्वेश्चंस इन द इंटरव्यू एंड इट हैज बीन अ लॉन्ग टाइम इट हैज बीन 3 इयर्स सिंस ऑल रिटेल क्वेश्चन बीइंग आस्क्ड इवन द सेम टू सेम क्वेश्चन बार आस्क्ड nothing will be asked four or five questions are fixed whatever they will ask i will be telling in the interview but better i will be sharing in the interview what how you will be focusing i will be sharing a pdf of the same how you process the loan okay you just study with this even if you yes. are doing agriculture that is also just a part of sanctioning process you are you are sanctioning yes. the agriculture here you will be sanctioning the housing loan in the agriculture yes. if it is more than uh, 1.6 uh then you will have to mortgage it sometimes yeah, yeah. the banks yeah, of, for 3 lakhs there will be no interest subvention no interest subvention in yes, the sir. housing loan it, for any amount you need to mortgage that is the difference and next thing how you will apply surface will be the question i will be telling in the interview tomorrow don't worry how you will need to how you need to answer tell me about yourself why sbi why this why this tell me about this and something what report i have said you don't study that report very briefly but the key factors you should know because whatever you know about sbi if they will ask you will be able to manage it very carefully okay anything more yes, and sir wo intro schedule ek bar bata dijiyega kyunki kal jab ka exam bhi hai jai ha abhi to theek hai main wo share kar dunga don't worry from morning and from okay okay uh, even if you, if sir. you are going for uh, exam i will take any how even in the night i will take all all, all of enrolled person center not all you, but specifically those you are in group i am teaching okay yes thank That's you sir. because uh, anything more anyone was should i leave sir yes uh, sir uh, मेरा क्वेश्चन भी लगभग सेम ही था जो अभी इन्होंने पूछा है कि लाइक जैसे सर मेरा अभी डिस्बर्समेंट वगैरह का प्रोसेस है लाइक मैं सेंक्शन तो नहीं करता बट आफ्टर सेंक्शन जो प्रोसेस होता है वहां पे हम अपना कंज्यूमर लोन को कंज्यूमर लोन के जो प्रोडक्ट्स है उसमें डिस्बर्समेंट वाला पार्ट में हैंडल करता हूं सर तो लाइक वहां पे फिर अभी मेरा तो सर सेंक्शन से रिलेटेड कुछ है नहीं तो नॉलेज उतना तो फिर वहां का क्वेश्चन नो 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 जो जस्ट ये क्या व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस व्हाट इज द प्रोसेस how loan goes yes sir okay that is the only thing you know need to know okay what uh -huh. sometimes some uh, a person was there sir what documents the name of documents no name of documents it depends on the documentation policy loan policy document of the bank in some bank dpn has some other name in some bank some dpn is other name some bank pl7 is there some bank f16 is there okay the name of the form different in different banks but dpn it is a demand promissory note it is a promise from the borrower that he will okay. pay the money then all banks will take this is a legal document but in your bank dpn may be called as a pl6 DPN. or f6 or f dpn 13 or 14 that is your serial number in another bank it may be as a xyz x1 x2 x3 that is the name of document but the dpn is the different okay 
ओके सर ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू जस्ट कीप योर माइंड फ्री यू आर गोइंग टू रॉक इन द इंटरव्यू कीप इन माइंड वंस टुमारो वंस वन राउंड ऑफ इंटरव्यू विल बी देयर एंड आई विल बी टेलिंग यू व्हाट एवर द डिफरेंसेस वेयर यू आर लैगिंग बिहाइंड ओके द नेक्स्ट इंटरव्यू फर्स्ट आई विल बी टेकिंग प्रेफरेबली ओवर ऑडियो और वीडियो बट नेक्स्ट विल बी द फुल वीडियो सेशन full session you need to see you need to attend you need to see it repeatedly okay then yes. you record that session in your mobile i won't be recording i won't be sharing okay i never never share interview never share any mock interview because some key factors are there if everyone will be answering in the same way then the panel will know that this is a there is some catch in it okay गुड बट दर्सन इज एंसरिंग लाइक सेम थिंग इट वोट इम्प्रेस दे रिप्रेजेंटिंग इन डिफरेंट मैनर दैट्स वाई you keep your interview completely secret completely at your own wish first we will start and i will be sharing the session uh, of this session recording to you for and uh, interview mock interview schedule i will be sharing in the group okay should i yes. leave yes sir okay best of luck you did miracles those who didn't get by some marks or others or some issues keep uh, ready because a number of vacancies are coming even by by july even early july you can see a number of scale 2 and 3 vacancies okay some trade finance vacancies already out in sbi okay if you want anyone working in trade finance may go but if you are going in cbo then also good because First, your home posting, which is the very basic need in India, especially even less pay, less salary, I will accept. But posting must must be near to my home. Then SBI CBO has a is a great opportunity for to you. Okay, don't panic. After once, what two sessions are interview is over, you will be waiting that interview must come early. Okay, if possible. then i will take a third round of interview also okay so okay, completely sir. you will rock in the interview don't worry okay good night good night sir good night sir good night sir good night good night good night sir good night sir